Now let's look at five ways. Five ways that you can detox your newsfeed today. So the, the five ways that you can um, detox your newsfeed focuses on how AI works. So like I said at the beginning, AI is looking at the history of our watch time, uh, the comments and the shares. And so the concept uh, is that when that what was interesting to you in the past will be interesting to you in the future. And this means that it tries to keep you in the mindset that you had maybe two or five or maybe even 10 years ago. And so you'd be surprised at how much your newsfeed tells about your past interests. So just go and take a look at either your Facebook newsfeed or look at the YouTube recommendations, and you'd be surprised at how much of your history appears right there. It's trying to repeat what you did in the past, what you watched in the past. So for example, um, just looking at my own YouTube recommended videos, I could see videos on tech, on politics, uh, on video creation. And so what can we do if we want to change the way we think about ourselves and the world? Well, remember the Facebook mood experiment. This is very important because we're not more important and we're not more, uh, yeah, we're not more capable. Uh, we're not more capable than our environment. Even video thumbnails of videos that you don't watch can still impact your thinking. Uh, so that's why it's so important for us to look at detoxing our newsfeed. And so the first recommendation uh, that I have is to, and it seems kind of extreme, but it's to start a new profile, brand new profile. Uh, not enough people do this. Uh, and this underrated detox uh, that doesn't even require you to delete your existing social media or email addresses um, is extremely powerful. Uh, start a brand new email and social media uh, accounts. Uh, just starting that can have a huge impact on your own mindset. I mean, just imagine uh, being able to choose content that relates to your current goals without being drawn into things that you had watched in the past. It's the equivalent of being born again on the internet. As far as AI is concerned, you are a new person with new goals. And so, for example, when I started AI parenting, I created a brand new email address and a brand new YouTube channel rather than working off of my existing profiles. Uh, I only watched videos related to things about comments about big tech, uh, privacy and AI, and this would expose me to really great content that I've been able to share with you live. Now, number two is to mute toxic friends. Uh, maybe you have like a big profile um, or you have a big following and you, you want to keep your existing profile. I, and that's no problem. If that's the case, then one of the, the best ways maybe to remove or mute friends that post mostly negative news that impacts your mindset. Uh, you can like them as a person, but you don't have, to, you can also like them from a distance as uh, George Valenzuela has once told me. And so uh, you don't need to follow their every move. And I can, I get it. Like there's a fear of loss especially on platforms like Instagram, where if you unfollow people, uh, you have to ask their permission again to follow again. So it feels like, oh, there's this there's this lost opportunity if I unfollow someone. Uh, but that said, if you don't feel comfortable unfriending someone, you can always mute their posts and it doesn't they're not aware that you've muted their posts. But the key thing here is that studies have shown that we are greatly influenced by the five people that we are closest to. And if you created an account with only five friends, well, who would you want those people to be? You know, choose wisely 
because we can't control the impact that those posts have on our unconscious thoughts. Like we see the image, maybe we don't watch the video, we don't click on the post, but just seeing it is enough to, to have an impact. Uh, and we know this because of the, the Facebook study, it already showed that I don't, you don't need to click on a bunch of posts for people to change people's mood. This method of like starting a new account, like it, it works really well because you can uh, choose who you want to follow rather than just have a bunch of updates that are not helping you. So sometimes it's easier to start with a brand new account than it is to go and, oh, I got to like unfriend everybody. So the, the new account method can be a way to help with that. Okay. So it, it, it kind of like is a step-by-step -step process. Engage with the content that you like or maybe engage with the content that is like what you want to become. Uh, because often it's aspirational rather than, oh, I just like it. Um, it's not kind of interest based. It's often like you're trying to become a person. So now that you've created the profile um, and you've chosen your friends that you think are really going to help you, the next step is to engage with the people that you want to connect with the most. Uh, these could be influencers that you really admire, uh, or they could be groups that show you what your interests are, or they, they help you accelerate your goals. In any case, this is a very powerful, powerful technique, because not only are you watching fewer things, but you're, you're developing deeper relationships with fewer people, and potentially the people that you want to be associating with the most. Uh, because many people get so many things in their newsfeed, they don't have time to go and check everything out. Whereas in this case, you, you will, you'll have more time on the people that you care about. And so uh, spending more time on posts will tell the AI that you want to see more content like this. It will help put their content at the top of your feed. On some platforms like Twitter or YouTube, you can add a bell. Uh, to be notified whenever a new post arrives. Uh, and of course, in Facebook, and I think Instagram, there's this concept of close friends, uh, which could do something similar. I don't know if it's exactly like every time there's a new post that you get to see it, or you get notified, but it's it could be something that is very, very similar. So close friends is another good way of doing it. Like, remember, our friends, like are not enough to determining to like, remember the people that are our friends um, can also be used to determine what appears on your feed. Um, so we do have to train the AI on content that you do like, so that you'll be able to get more of it. Uh, for example, if meditation, like just spending a little bit of time relaxing, you know, just focused on your thoughts, is a part of your morning routine, spend more time watching those posts, like them, and you'll have a steady stream of new meditation videos that you can use the next day. So the the next one that I also want to cover because there's there's two more um, is it, it seems really obvious when I write it this way, but it's still important to skip or mute content that you don't like, or that doesn't fit with where you want to go in life, it doesn't match the person that you see yourself as. Uh, just as it's important to engage with content that you like, it's also important to disengage with content that you don't like. This means limiting your watch time or pressing mute on posts that you don't want to see. Uh, this is not easy. I want to be super clear because our suggestions may come from things that our friends like, which could be stuff that you are specifically trying to avoid. So it's not your fault that you're seeing these things. It could be just your friends like that. And so um, this is an exercise in self-regulation that is actually quite healthy. You know, I, like it's a skill. It makes you feel like you're in control of your newsfeed and that your newsfeed doesn't control you. Uh, another benefit of this is that it can help you get immersed in the content that you need to watch rather than being torn away from content that is basically a distraction from your goals. 
Um, so training our newsfeed, it, it's going to be this important skill on par with learning how to code or to meditate. Um, it is very, very important. Um, and you've heard this a million times, I'm sure. But I want to give a slightly different take on it. And that is delete social media apps off of your phone. Now, of course, you might not have time to actively manage your newsfeed. So another way to increase your productivity is to potentially install a Chrome extension uh, called Kill the Facebook Newsfeed. Uh, this plugin allows you to still use uh, groups and connect with other people on Messenger without the AI powered distraction of the newsfeed. And I've seen people who, who have done this to great success. Um, author of the four hour work week, uh, Tim Ferriss, uh, he posted a video on how to use your phone so that it doesn't use you. And his advice was to just straight up delete the Facebook app from your phone. Um, and I've seen many other successful YouTubers like Casey Neistat advocating for doing exactly the same. And so when these like top performers are, are advocating for it, we need to pay attention. There's something here. Uh, now, I don't have the, like, I'll be honest with you, I don't have the notification insanity of somebody like Casey Neistat or Tim Ferriss. Uh, but I followed this practice myself, and I deleted Facebook uh, from my phone. Um, I'm a ADHD parent, and I can say that it's been really refreshing because I'm so 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 easily distracted, um, probably more than most. Uh, and I found that most of what I need to do on social media. Um, you know, I could just straight up do it from like an iPad. I could do it quicker, in fact, from an iPad. So the social media apps that I didn't need on my phone, I just, I just deleted them from my phone. Uh, so I deleted any social app that wasn't essential to my business and where I was going. Um, I, all I'd suggest is try it. You know, I'm pretty confident that the benefits you notice for your own mindset uh, will mean that you won't feel this strong urge to go back. Like your your life may be like so much in that news feed right now, but it doesn't have to be. And and maybe you, you won't feel the strong need to go back. So I'm I'm on the the camp of delete your Facebook. You know, uh, delete the app. You don't have to like delete the like I, I've I've noticed that deleting the account doesn't actually delete it. Um, the data is still there. Um, so I'm not advocating that. Uh, but I would advocate like, if you don't need this app on your phone, there's a couple things that you need to know. And one of the important things is the beginning of your day and the end of your day is very, very important. And we ask so many people, what do you do at the beginning of your day? What do you do at the end of your day? And if what you do is like, I just check my feed, I just check the news. Well, what if you saw something that was like really negative in terms of the news right at the beginning of your day? How would the rest of your day feel? You'd be thinking about that throughout the rest of your day. You'd be heavily influenced by what you see at the beginning of your day. And so take back control of your day. Take back control of your life. Take back your mornings. Take back your life. Same thing at night. Like, what do we do right before we go to bed? Like watch some social media, right? But this is the problem is like, um, I, I was reading this book called um, The One Thing by Gary Keller, where he says that willpower is kind of like this battery that starts off at the beginning of the day, super full. And then over over the time, it, like your willpower goes lower and lower and lower. And so you can imagine if you're watching social media at the end of your day, at the end of your day, what happens to your willpower? You've got like no willpower, no resistance, you know, to any of this stuff. So you're just going to be there just watching, scrolling, scrolling, watching. It's like you will not stop. This is really, really bad for you because imagine like, are you going to be getting enough sleep? What are you going to be thinking about when you go to sleep? Very, very important. How is that going to impact your next day? Very, very important. Um, so I, I, 
I often say like, this is, this is critical. Detoxing your mindset um, involves a lot of detoxing your feed, but also detoxing some of your habits that you may have. 